So there are times when weeping is the natural response or it's just the response. It's how God would respond in a situation. He would weep with people at times. Then at other times, we need to be able to express wisdom, which sometimes emotions can get in the way of sometimes. But ultimately, Jesus was moved by his emotions to act in alignment with the Father's heart. So if we're choosing only to do what we see the Father doing, and we're becoming whole, then our emotions are going to guide us and help us in that. So they are going to be helpful. I think someone said emotions are a bad master, but a good servant. And they shouldn't control us and that we shouldn't be out of control emotionally. But we should feel and sense and carry compassion of God and be moved by what moves him. And sometimes that's moved to action. Sometimes that's moved to words. Sometimes that's moved to silence. You know, every situation is different. But our, but it should be feelings. You know, we should not be non-emotional, but those feelings should not control us or get us out of control. You know, sometimes emotions of an anger is not a bad thing. If it, I see a situation which is unjust and I feel incensed by the injustice and that moves me to act. If I get angry and then try and operate in this flesh and operate you know in in my lost identity then i'm going to get into trouble because i'm going to let those emotions rule what i do and i could probably do something which i would later regret but when i'm moved by something which is unjust what do i want to do bring justice i want to see that changed i want to see whatever is causing that injustice to change so then I could be motivated possibly to intercede or to act. I could actually do something practical if, if the father led me to practically do something. I can legislate for that change. I can take it to a higher level to see what's behind the change or what's behind the things that needs to change. And there's lots of different levels that we can then begin to proceed into. But ultimately, I think emotions should be uh, the first response to anything. The right emotions. Because then they should move us. Then we can then put our intellect, our thinking to make the right choices of what we're going to do about the situation. But a lot of people, if they're not moved emotionally, don't do anything. Because there's that moving. The word for compassion, one of the words that was used of Jesus with compassion is actually a word which actually means being moved in the guts. It's a gut movement. Literally, right in the core, we're moved. Something is like, you know, people say it's like a kick in the guts. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, there's something that really gets deep in and moves us. Now, ultimately, what we want to be moved by is the Father's heart. So what does the father feel about this situation, that situation, this situation? And then that should move us to feel what he feels about it. And then to begin to act out of that. But in a good way. You know? yeah, I think for a long time, Christians were almost, you know, the whole British things was, you know, keep a stiff upper lip and don't show your emotions and don't show your weakness and everything else. And it's just like, it's not weak to weep with somebody. It's not weak to feel compassion for someone who's going through something. But again, that's where the culture came in. The British culture was very reserved and keep your emotions to yourself. But that's not what Jesus was like. Jesus laughed. Jesus cried. Jesus had the full range of emotions and those emotions helped him to feel what the father felt. And that that's the key. Because you know, um, sometimes the obvious is not the obvious. You know, you know sometimes our response, you think, well, oh, they should respond this way. But actually, that might not be what the father's doing in that moment. 
So it's always checking it out to make sure that we're aligned to the Father's heart and intention and not just going along with what we think or particularly going along with our memory or our previous responses to something. Because I might come across two exactly the similar situations and the Father might respond differently in either because they're different people. So I need to be careful that I don't operate out of ma muscle memory or even spirit memory. Yeah. But out of what is the father's heart now in this situation? And can I therefore align myself with the father's heart and therefore be moved? And sometimes it just happens. As you say, so you just cry, you just feel it. You know, and sometimes I'm there and I'm not emotionally involved at all. And I start crying. Oh, where'd that come from? Well, because I think it was something which went beyond the mind, yeah, into something deeper. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.